guys and welcome back to the channel if you're new here i'm beth and today i have in the back i have luna and her and i have lily luna is whining because she knows that we are ready to go for a run so i just need to go get my trainers on get their harnesses on because we're going to go canny crossing today Lily is free running because she is obviously too young to be canny crossing so she's just free running at the moment and the plan today is to as you saw in the clip we're going to be running around the Rekin so let's go <laughs> They are raring to go. I haven't even got my watch ready. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's go. Ooh. Okay, so Lily's just on the lead for a little bit. Just because we're close to the road. Decapitate her. Right, there you go. So now we are far enough away from the road, she can go free run. Okay, <laughs> let's go, guys. This bit's quite hard because it's pretty uphill to start with, and then it kind of turns up and down, up and down undulating as they would say. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. This is the first time I've tried to film while talking to you guys and run it at the same time. And there's a fair amount of kind of sticky up stones. It's obviously a trail around the region. So there is plenty of things for me to trip over. But I'm hoping Lena will lead me in the right direction. <laughs> Those are tree roots, rocks. Okay, good girl. And mud. Woo! Those mud. As you've seen, I've got Luna and Lily. And the plan is to run around the weekend. So it's quite funny because if you're from Shropshire or surrounding areas, at the Black Country, Worcester. Then you may have heard of the saying round the Recon. And it basically means like taking the long way round so that you've gone round the houses. Um, or that you ramble when you're talking and you, you're not very precise when you're talking. So that is our plan. We're gonna run round the Recon. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna run around the Recon and then we're gonna see how we're feeling because I see it's still summer, so I don't wanna push us too far as to whether we run to the top of the Recon, which is about 400 meters above sea level. I mean, the last time I did this route just running around the Recon, I had about 300 meters ooh, of ascent. So, I don't want to push it. Especially with Lily, although she's free running, she's still fairly new. So, right, let's go. and water that we would see at this time of year just to show how much just goes to show how much it's actually rained over the last kind of week 
Okay. So, that I believe over there is Wenlock Edge, which would be another good hill training to do. Look at that view. Difficult to tell on the camera. idea of my base of where I am right now before we start climbing it up for County Cross season because our main goal this County Cross season we have a main race which is the County Trail Half Marathon in January. Now I think that's got about 600 meters of ascent so in total so uh, where am I going? Uh, I think I've got to keep on this path, but uh, we've either got to go up or we keep going down. Let's keep going down, let's go. Let's go. So, yeah, the Canning Trail half marathon has about, I think, 600 something meters of ascent. So, yeah, we really need to practice some hills and stuff. And I'm quite lucky where I live because I've got quite a lot of hills. I've got the, like, around Turk Stratton, there's uh, Long Min. We've got the Reekin. I've got Wenlock Edge. I've got Hellman Hill. I've got a lot of, like, hilly places to try and run. So we will get plenty of hill training. And I'm really sorry about this filming. It's very, um not very stable. So we've done half of the region now. We're, okay, I'm gonna have to walk a sec. So we're done about half of the region. We're now turning back on ourselves and going back to the start. Well, we're looping around now. So we're coming around the other side. I'm feeling okay, kind of, so far. But I'm gonna feel that in a bit once we've done a little bit more climbing. I don't know, we'll see. We're just having a water break at the moment. Um, so we're about halfway. Uh, where's the bottom there? <laughs> so we're about halfway round and we're just stopped for a little water break. Um, the girls have just had, oh, so I carry a little pop-up bowl for them because they can't seem to drink um, from like a stream from one of these, so I just kind of pour it into the bowl for them. <laughs> They're both still raring to go, bless them. <laughs> you hear her whining? Little Luna wants to go. just run up that and this is where it gets fun we're not even really ascending yet um the reekin but oh my gosh i always forget what it's like i mean that doesn't really do it any justice but that is oh you can see really in the distance so yeah let's go ready you trying to trip me up? Okay, let's go. Woo! And Nina does love going down hills too much. Woo! She just doesn't always like pulling me up because she ain't gonna pull me up this next one, is she? Let's see. 
Kochasz. No, but she's slacking. She's still going, but she's slacking. She never likes pulling me up the hills. Come on. We're still moving. Still moving. And we're at the pinnacle. Look at that. Oh. Let's go. This is always the lovely bit because it is constant now. Up and down. So, just need to take it nice and slow. And steady, don't we, Luna? You don't know that word. A good girl. She like waits for me and then she goes. Okay. 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 And then up another hill. Woo! She's got speed. That's not too bad a hill. Not when you got a bit of a run up to it. to rock and roll again. Gosh, that's what I said. Okay. remember how much I just told you um, we're now at three and a half miles so it's been a while since I think I last said I was talking about the Kenny Trail half marathon that we signed up for so it's gonna be my first trail half marathon and also my first and Luna's first well Kenny Cross half marathon Lira previously has only done up to eight miles, so, um, and not very much elevation. And like I said, this is like 600 and something meters of ascent. Like that's in total, but it's very much, I'll put a link up of the, I'll put a picture up of the elevation on the screen for you, just to show you how much elevation it's actually got. So yeah. So, so the reason why we are doing this run today is because I want to test our base, um, like our base hill work because we've been just bimbling along because it's summer, like it's still warmish, but it's definitely starting to cool down. We've had like a full week of rain. So like there's mud here that there wouldn't normally be mud in the summer. So I'm hoping this will just show us kind of a good base of what we need. And last time I did this route, I didn't go all the way up to the top, to the, the top of the weekend. Um, but I had about I went about halfway and I got like 300 meters of ascent. So, right, this is it. This is the uh, turning point. Uh, now we go up there and we go up the Reacon to the top. I can't believe this way we need to go. Here we go. I don't think she realizes a hill in a minute. And by a hill, I mean a mountain. Oh my gosh. The mud, like it's not too bad, but it should not be like this at this time of year. Let's try and cut around here. Okay. <laughs> like, I think we're all, oh, I say we're all struggling. I am. Luna's like, come on, mum. 
Let's go. And Lily, it just doesn't look like any energy has gone from her. I seem to remember that being a lot harder last time. So that's good. I can't do it. I can do it. I can do it. I just feel like I can't do it. But I've walked the weekend so many times. I know I can do this. I'm now walking up. We're halfway. So we've come out at the halfway house. And we're now just walking. And you know what? I did want to try and run up it, but we're doing a half marathon. This is, we're not meant to be able to run up it just yet. We're not started training, so it's okay. It's okay to walk, and it'll be okay to walk in the race as well, because the aim is just to get round, not to actually run it all, which would be nice, but let's be realistic. Okay. We're running. Uh, Luna's walking. I'm now walking. I think my running and walking is pretty much the same pace right now. Oh, come on, let's go. We can do this. Yeah. We can do this. No, I can't. Oh man, that's hard. That's so hard. I think we'll just walk now because I'm going to start wasting energy if I'm trying to run up here you know what run while you can and walk when you have to but never stop that is going to be my new motto I must admit I mean people are probably walking faster than what I'm running up here and you know what I don't care I'm doing it oh man okay we're walking again but we're about to go through what I like to call the boobies and we should be able to see the trick point it is um, very gravelly which is making it really difficult to run so we're running when we can walking when we have to like I said we're never gonna stop until we get to the top here we are at the boobies Lily still has endless energy and like me and Luna which are quite happy aren't we just walking it I can see the trick point we can run the rest of it now, surely. Can't we? Can we? Yes, we can. In a minute. Okay, Lena wants to go. Okay, let's go. Good girl. Oh, no. This is not too bad. I can see the trick point. We can do this, guys. We can do this. run all the way to the trick point. Oh, it's nice and windy up here now. got to work on with Luna is her steady downhill because she likes to just bomb it down and if it's going to be like this gravelly 
on the race we are not going to be able to do that because okay this way closer no you do it we're going to end up on our buttons if she doesn't plan to go steady Going down is always fun. Woo! Careful! Okay, last little bit to the car. And then it's not been too bad really going down. I thought she'd be quite pulley, which she is kind of on and off pulley but much better than what I was expecting so yeah and Lily's just doing her own thing and we've hit six miles as well now so yeah and my watch is screaming at me because it's got no battery okay stop here Lily Lily pop up no Lily Tie you on. Okay. I don't know what's happening with this. This is very twisted. Oh, right, we've only got to go to the car now anyway. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Pour it with one hand, big two litre bottle. Oh dear. Okay, I think they were thirsty. So, yeah, I always bring a two litre bottle plus whatever I bring in my uh, hydration bag as well. Oh, bless them. Definitely starting to get quite a bit, quite warm out here. You're finished? Should we get in the car then? <laughs> I think that was a successful run. Yes, we had to trek most of the way up to the top of the Recon, but to be fair, that's understandable given that we've done no hill training and we've done very minimal training over the summer so far just because it's been too hot. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that. It's given us a base of, a base of where we need to kind of what we need to work on and like I said we're just bimbling along at the moment but I'm just enjoying doing some of the hill work ready for the uh, Canny Trail Half Marathon in January so we've got plenty of time to train for it though. So if you've enjoyed coming along with us on our Canny Rock Cross run today and want to see more Canny Cross stuff and also agility stuff as well because we both we do Canny Cross and agility then please do subscribe, hit the notification button if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more and you'll be notified of any new videos that come out and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed coming along with us on our run. See you next time. Bye.